I'm Miss Sarah, and this is Virtual Makerspace. Every week, until our library building reopens, we'll be posting a video with a new Makerspace challenge. Use the things you have around your house to complete the challenge, then share it with us on social media. This week, because April is National Poetry Month, your challenge will be to build a poem. So what do I mean by build a poem? You usually write a poem, don't you? Well, let me give you an example. One really popular way to build a poem is to create it out of book titles. This is called book spine poetry. To create a book spine poem, start stacking your books, one on top of another, like this, and then read the titles from top to bottom. Here's one I've created. Bad kitty, drawn to trouble, into the dark where the wild things are. Now, as you can see, a book spine poem doesn't have to rhyme, and it doesn't have to have a certain number of lines or words or syllables. The lines just need to make sense when you read them in order. They can tell a story or ask a question, conjure up an image, or offer some words of wisdom. It's really all up to you. To get started, look around your house for books with interesting titles. Pick two or three. Now look for more books that fit with the titles you've chosen. I really want to encourage you guys to be creative here. Swap the order of your books, add some new books, take some away. It's a bit like putting together a puzzle. Keep working until you have a poem that you like. I have another one here for you. Princess Academy. Dancing Shoes, Beauty Sleep, Dealing with Dragons. If the books in your home aren't inspiring you, try building a poem with the titles on DVD cases or CD cases. Here's one that I came up with using DVDs. The sound of music, bewitched by the light of the silvery moon. And if DVDs, CDs, or books still aren't inspiring you, you can try building a poem using Legos or Jenga blocks. Just put a word or a phrase on the side of the block, and you can create your poem by lining the blocks up or stacking them on top of one another. I will include a link with a word list that you can use to create your word blocks. And if you find something else around your house that you think will work to build a poem, try it out. I really want to encourage you guys to experiment and be creative. If you enjoyed building your poem, here are five more poetry challenges that you can try. I'll include links with some additional information. Number one, write an acrostic poem. This is a poem in which the first letter of each line spells out a word or phrase. Lots of young writers will use their first name. So if I were to write an acrostic poem with my first name, Sarah, the first line would start with the letter S, the second line would start with the letter A, the third line would start with the letter R, and so on. Number two, write a concrete poem. These are also sometimes called shape poems. They're poems which are shaped like the thing their poem is about. For example, if you were to write a poem about a snowman, the poem would be in the shape of a snowman. Number three, write a haiku. A haiku is a three-line poem in which the first line is five syllables, the second line is seven syllables, and the third line is five syllables. Number four, read some poems or a novel in verse, which is a story told through poems. Write a poem inspired by one that you've read. And number five, invite your family members to create some poems of their own, then share your poems at a family poetry jam.
Once you have created your poem, please share it with us at the library. You can type your poem up, or take a picture, or even a video of you reading your poem, and share it with us through social media. You can do this through Facebook at www.facebook.com slash FHCPL, or through Instagram, remembering to mention the library, at FHCPL. We're really excited to read the poems you guys create and to share your poems with other young makers. So have fun working on that challenge this week, and I will see you all again next week. Bye!